In Wordle, the goal is to guess a five-letter word. You have six opportunities to do so, and every time you are incorrect, you learn a little new information about what the correct word is. For example, if you began the game with bingo, and that was not right, you would learn which letters are not in the final word, which are, and if you've correctly guessed the position of a letter in that final word. Here, the green indicates that N is in the correct slot, and while O is in the word, it is not in the fifth slot. Meanwhile, B, I, and G are not in the final word. You can use that information to form a new guess, perhaps owned. Notice that O has shifted the position, whereas N is in the same slot as before. Once again, you learn new information if that's not correct. Here we see that O still isn't in the correct slot, N still is, and E is also in the word, and also in that fourth position. You repeat this process with new words until you either guess the correct word or run out of guesses. And here the correct word was cones. A major debate is what the best word is to start off with. Think about that for a moment. If you were playing this game, what is the first thing that you'd want to guess? The answer is that it depends. And in particular, it matters who your opponent is that's choosing the word. Let me explain what I mean. Some of the more popular choices for first words are a do, because it has four vowels and will give you a lot of information about what the correct vowels are going to be for the actual word. Audio, for the same reason, here having an O instead of an E. Raise is good if you want to have a couple of consonants that are important, R and S. A tone for the same reason, this time choosing T and N as those consonants. And if you really want to focus on consonants, then stone is a popular one, allowing you to access S, T, and N while still having good vowels of O and E in the word. The problem is that the quality of a first word depends on the word selected. In the official Wordle game, a computer randomly chooses from among 2,500 common words. It is a-strategic. It's not trying to outsmart you. But if you play against an actual opponent who is choosing a word actively to pair against you, it's an entirely different story. Think about what their incentives are. Imagine that you decided that a do is the best way of starting a game. Think about how your opponent would react to that. If your opponent knows that you're always starting with a do, then they should choose something that counters it. In the context of this game, that means choosing a word like choke. It only has one of the letters in a do, in this case it's an E, and it doesn't tell you any new information other than the fact that the E is not in the fourth slot. Think about this from your perspective. You're in a quandary here. Is there an O? A second E? Are there no more vowels? Playing predictably against a strategic opponent is a bad idea. It's perfectly fine against a computer. But when someone is strategizing against you, you can't behave predictably. A do may be a good word if a computer is randomly selecting something. But playing against a strategic opponent, you need to add in some other words to keep your opponent guessing. Even if you've never played Wordle before, you've probably seen the same sort of guessing dilemma in a different context. Namely, on the Wheel of Fortune bonus round. A while back, I scraped a ton of data on Wheel of Fortune bonus round puzzles. 
and what I found was rather interesting. Imagine you were playing through this bonus round. What are the letters that you would choose? You can only pick three consonants and one vowel. Well, what I found out is that players tend to congregate on a few letters. C, M, D, and A. C was chosen 65.2% of the time, M 58.8, D 56.9, and A 46.6% of the time. This might be fine if the words were chosen randomly, but they're not. Think about this game from the perspective of the producer. They want to give money away, but not too much money. As a result, what I found out by scraping this data is that they tend to create puzzles that do not use the most commonly chosen letters. Instead, the most commonly occurring letters were P, H, G, and O, which in this case would make this puzzle fairly simple. The key moral here is that you cannot confuse strategic environments with astrategic environments. And while you can choose a do all you want in a Wordle, if you're playing against an opponent doing the exact same game, it might not be as great of an idea. What's your favorite opening word? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I bid you adieu.